Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of Hoppets. Today, joined by Henry, the young Grusin. We're a man down because Pina and Luna went home. Of course. She's a little kid. So we are, we're having a little kid. She's a baby. She's a baby. Three months old. So we're uh, finishing off with a nightcap with something barrel aged that I think should be good. We've I've sat on this bottle for quite a while. Uh, picked up in Sweden at Sustain Bolaget via yes. Tobias, the major of macros. And this is none other than the 2017 vintage of Firestone Walker's El Dorado. Mm. So Firestone Walker is one of the original, you know, famous barrel aged breweries in the States. They make loads of different barrel aged beer. Um, back in the day, I was so hyped about this stuff, especially like Sukawa, Parabola, the anniversary beers. Uh, but this is El Dorado. This is one of the beers that was often part of their anniversary ale series. And then they started releasing it in bottles as well. And they call it a blonde barley wine. Uh, it's called Hellorado because they use Elorado hops in there, but I'm not expecting any hoppy profile whatsoever since it's from 2017. Uh, they use British ale yeast and it's bourbon barrels. It's 12.8% alcohol. Mm. And uh, they have a huge long spiel on here. That, that seems like, <laughs> yeah, like their 10th. It's the first anniversary ale, they re okay, they started, the brewery was started in 1996, I didn't know that. 2006, they released their first anniversary ale, mm. even though it's 10 years, <laughs> called 10, anniversary ale 10, where this was part of it. So then they released it, and they call it also an imperial blonde ale, or imperial barley wine, light in color, but lots of vanilla, charry notes, wood, honey, lavender, Honey liqueur, toasted malt, and then they have the Eldorado hops in the background. But I don't think again we'll. So would, it, much. would this has been better when it was fresh, or do you think? No, I think they just put in a little hops because as far as I, I mean the the those uh, uh, anniversary ales are like really malt forward. Mm. So it's gonna be like a very malty but light party wine. So it's probably like only like Marisotter and some light caramel malts instead of going all in like super dark. So it's probably gonna be more toffee and stuff like that than like dark fruit. Let's try it. But maybe a little bit because it's been aged, so it might oxidize a bit. But pours a nice color. Yeah. It looks blonde. It's blonde. Like lightly copper, but it might be darker now because of age, because of oxidation. Yeah. But we'll find out once we smell it. Uh, off white ish head. Let's check out your aroma. Let's do it. Uh, very honey like. Oh, yeah. Like it's sweet like honeysuckle or something yeah. like that. It's almost like a uh, meat. <laughs> Meat? <laughs> oh, meat! Uh, yeah, meat. <laughs> I was like, meat? <laughs> no, meat. Mm. And I'm definitely getting bourbon too. It's very mild, actually. Yeah, it's very mild. And mm. I'm smelling a hint of oxidation. There is a little undertone of like sherry or port wine. Mm. Yeah. That's usually what happens with yeah. oxidation. Over yeah, it's better the sherry. sherry notes. But this style, I feel it suits it. Yeah. So oxidation yeah. is not always a bad thing. No. But it's not like it's yeah some candy kind of like syrupy caramely mm. notes. It's not as complex as maybe like a regular dark barley wine or no. a darker barley wine, and also a good amount of vanilla I think. Mm. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers, man. That's really easy drinking barley wine. Oh yeah. It's kind of like the first one we had. Oh yeah, yeah. With the food. It's like, it's really oaky. It's very oaky. Like on the aftertaste, there's so much drying oak. But it's super light. Mm -hmm. Like, but not boozy. Not at boozy all. at all. It's no. not like for fucking, was it almost 13% at 12.8? It's not. And I wouldn't expect at all. No, no, no. Mm. Not boozy at all. It's mm. like, it's like really like light caramel. Like almost like mm. when you make boom de mm. Like yeah. if you make that caramel on the pan without yeah. it going completely dark. Yeah, I mean, yeah, a light caramel. But also a bit, um, a bit tart, maybe? Yeah. Like a slight kind of mm. tart thing to it. Maybe like yeah. an apple yeah. or something yeah. like that. Or a grape kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. But lots of charry, woody oak. Oh yeah. Charred wood. Lots of vanilla too. Mm -hmm. And then like, yeah, like kind of this like bourbon-esque vibe going on too. And then mostly like malt wise, it's like this bready malt, sweet kind of malt and like, like light toffee caramel vibes. It has a hint of the sherry oxidized kind of note, but it's nothing mm -hmm. crazy. Um, I think it's more an aroma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's more like, I guess what you'd expect from a barrel aged beer on the flavor. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, as you said, there is super drinkable. There is no like from the the hops. No, no, there's no other no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, It's kind of like like so. The first one we had was also like light and refreshing and mm -hmm. drinkable. It yeah. had like the wine kind of character. I think that was actually more drinkable than this. Maybe a little bit. It was yeah. 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 The dryness on this yeah. pulls it down, yeah. and this is more dry than that one. Mm. Yeah. Um, but I will put them in a very similar ballpark because they're quite mm. light body wine. Mm. They're not, not like mm. like sticky and rich no, and coin. No, they're more like like a bit more easy going. Yeah. Uh, and the thing that doesn't ruin it for them, like uh, since they are easy going, is that like often with these kind of big barrel aged beers, if they're like lighter, mm. like the booze really starts to shine and it's yeah. like thin and too dry. And it strikes a decent balance between like dryness and, yeah. and everything else, and it's not like boozy at all. No, and I mean it's not boring at all. Either. No, no, no. It's it's it's, it's just it's it, it, it's got a fine balance between yeah between those. Two but I definitely like the Sukaba they do, which is a regular boring one. I definitely prefer that more than this one. Uh, but I think it's still very nice barrel aged beer. Uh, but it, it's not like blowing my mind. Like a few years back, this would probably have been something I'd be going a bit nuts over. But I still think it's nice, very nice beer. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not like I'm like, what? That's a crazy barrel aged. It's just like a nice, drinkable barrel aged beer. If you mm -hmm. can say everyday barrel aged beer, right? Yeah, it's oh, an everyday barrel aged beer. <laughs> even though that's very <laughs> snob like to say this. Yeah. But I Maybe. I think it's it's nice. It's a good drinkable blonde barley wine. I, yeah. I would say like a 92, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 90, 92. Like early 90s, there's no yeah. flaws, it's got no. some nice complexities yeah. and without being super complex and it's easy drinkable, but I do prefer like the more hefty ones. But if you don't like dark fruit and you prefer like caramel top, Yeah, there, there is much this. dark fruit, yeah. Yeah, because it's the light malt backbone, so it's more just yeah. like really caramel, mm. fud uh, fudgy kind of toffee vibes, do you, butterscotch maybe. Do you think it would have been better if it hasn't been aged? To be honest, I don't think, I don't know. Maybe, uh, I think it's would be maybe a little bit more boozy. The yeah. al alcohol hasn't mellowed out if it didn't get to age. Yeah. I wouldn't have. So I think it's maybe a bit more balanced mm. on the age. But, but it, I mean, it's three years drinkable old. now. I mean. Yeah, it's three years old. That's actually quite an old beer to think of it. But yeah. yeah, that's nice. So if you guys have a bottle of the 2017 El Dorado from Firestone Walker in your cellar, drink it now. Mm -hmm. It's very drinkable now. No need to age this longer in my mind. As good as it is. Yeah. And if you have a fresh one, let us know what, how it is fresh. I don't even know if they still do this like every year. I mean, for, I haven't kept up with Firestone Walker for a long time, but they do a lot of stuff. But if they do, let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers, in some blonde body wine, and see you guys in another beer review.